Welcome guys, it's time for another patch for PUBG, this time patch 20.2. And again, PUBG is doing what they did last time, meaning that they're adding a bunch of improvements and updates based on player feedback. And this is truly exciting that PUBG is choosing this way of improving their game recently. Listen to the feedback and you're probably going to make your players happy. Let's get into it. The first thing I like to see is that they're bringing back Destin. I've been missing this map since last time's a bit rushed decision to remove it in favor of Miramar. But what they're also doing here is that they're doing a different map pool for the Asian regions and for the Western. So the Western regions will have Sanag removed, Karakin stays, and then Destin comes in. Whereas the Asian regions let Sanag stay, removes Karakin, puts in Destin. And this also kind of confirms our suspicion that we've had for a long time that Sanag is indeed an Asian favorite and not a Western. As for gameplay balances, there's a nice improvement here I've been asking for for a long, long time. More vehicles on both Erangel and Miramar. We're talking land vehicles here. There's a reduction in boats and aqua rails on Erangel, but overall, you're gonna find more land vehicles, which is awesome because I simply hate running without being able to find a vehicle for a long time. So this is truly a nice update. They're also making an improvement to the vehicle skin feature, whereas you no longer have to wait for the animation when you apply a skin to a vehicle. This is still not exactly what I want to have here. I just want skins to be applied automatically like we had before, unless it's a special skin like the McLaren, because there I feel like it makes more sense since you're actually changing the entire vehicle model. It makes more sense to just have that kind of animation going on there. They're also making big improvements to the folded shield, which has been completely useless in my opinion since it was added. Now we're going to be able to place it much faster, which is truly the best improvement that, they've, that they're doing here. You're going to be able to place it in half the time compared to before, 1.5 seconds rather than 3 seconds. Is this going to be enough? Maybe, because what you really want to do here is you want to have a shield that you can deploy in an emergency situation. If you're in the open, no cover, many situations like that uh, arise in the game. This might be good enough. We'll have to try it out. Also, you're going to be able to pick it up back again. Like when you use that, you can pick it up because you can now reuse it. Also kind of cool. Also, it takes less inventory space. Uh, when you put it in your bag so like they're really trying to make this better and they got a, some other improvements here that you can really check out for yourself if you want to read more closely we're also seeing a slight reduction of the airdrops on tego this was kind of a lot of airdrops so i mean it makes sense and also the food truck on destin has had his uh, health reduced from 3000 to 2500 we know it was it was extremely tanky so this probably makes sense you can add a cannon sight to the o12 all right, I mean, makes sense since you can put a scope on it, even though I haven't really tried the new scope on the O12 since they removed Destin just as they made that change last time. So that's definitely one of the things I look forward to trying out. Also, the sound, this has been a big grief for the community recently is that you can kind of hear your steps a little bit after you stop running and that's confusing people. And it's, it's part of that feeling of hearing phantom footsteps, hearing footsteps that aren't your own, but they were actually your own much of the time. So what they're doing here is that they're reducing the sound of the footsteps as you stop moving. So that's kind of cool. And now for something I'm slightly confused about, because what they're saying here is that they're adding MMR for normal matches, meaning normal games, not ranked. This game has not had actual matchmaking systems that takes into account the skill of the player, simply because there's not enough players to do this. You have to understand that if you want to group people based on skill and put them into different games, you need you need a lot of players of each individual skill in order for the games to fill quickly and without a lot of bots. So as far as I can read here, this only applies to squad games so far, but they're trying to make it so your enemies will be more around your own skill level rather than extremely good compared to you or extremely bad compared to you. I don't know how this is going to affect the matchmaking. Last time PUBG has done something like this, it resulted in slow queue times. And when they removed it, it was a noticeable difference in the queue time. So we'll have to wait and see. But I think the PUBG version of this won't be as noticeable as you see in other games like Call of Duty or something like that. PUBG is also making some improvements to their tutorial, which is always good as you want to make your new player experience better. So this is a good focus. 
And they also got a nice little improvement here to custom games. You can now have more custom games presets. They've increased this to 50 from 10. When I did a lot of custom games, this was always a problem. I constantly had to delete my presets to make new ones. So this is a nice one. Next one, can we please have the replay limit increased from 20 to let's say 100 or 50, or perhaps even customizable? That would be awesome, thank you. Then they're making some improvements to the leaderboard, how that looks for the ranked game mode and adding some skins. And I mean, this one looks pretty sick. Look at that one. I wonder if the eyes are glowing in game. Like this is the special crafting system. Um, the same system where you crafted your McLaren, you know, or the system where you get these boxes that you open and then you can craft older skins. But now there's also this and it looks kind of sick. Although we're getting more and more futuristic and perhaps even unrealistic with the skins in the game. But I'd rather see this than cute bunny skins. Also, we're seeing a performance improvement here regarding how vehicles are rendered in the game. And this might make vehicles move weirdly when they're far away. If that's the case, then this could be a problem. But if not, then this might just be a nice improvement to performance. And as always here in the end, we see a bunch of bug fixes. And I'm not really going into these. You can find these in the patch notes yourself. I will make sure to put a link to the patch notes below the video in the description. Also, guys, please do consider to use my creator code for PUBG. Just go to your crafting account and select me as the creator you want to support in the creator appreciation program. I greatly appreciate this. This is one of those things that really keeps me pushing for PUBG content and one of those ways that you can indirectly support what I do here for PUBG. So thank you very much for that. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you around in the patch. Thank you for watching. See you next time.